that's in case you, uh, you know, have to make that jog back. For whatever reason. Where did... Where'd the cat go? Or was the cat trying to show me that? I thought the cat led me to Sif. Wait. The guy from... King of Queens has a brother hmm. who also has a different acting name. What? So, his name is Kevin James. Yeah, Kevin James, yeah. But his real name is Kevin George Nipfing. Never knew that. Good choice to change it. But his relative is Gary Valentine. A what? Valentine? What are you going for that you're naming yourself Valentine? And his his real name was Gary Joseph Nipfing. I mean, the last names are definitely bad. I get that. Gary Ryan. Oh, somehow that sort of actually came around because he got his start at a, you know, stand-up comedy on stage in Montreal. <laughs> Weird. All right. What has he been in? <laughs> what has he been in at all that was making him an actor? Uh, a short film. Oh, he was in Stuck on You. Freaking Matt Damon movie. Jesus. Never saw it. God, remember that Greg Kinnear was a human? Nope. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I now Sam pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Really? Oh, wow. Well, that makes sense because uh, his brother Kevin was in it, right? Yeah. 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 It's an Adam Sandler movie. The so fuck? has got to have all the friends and family. Wow, this guy's acting career sucks shit. Oh. How did I, how did I miss you? How did I pick up that item and not see this guy? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit odd. What the fuck? All right, where's the dog? <sighs> Man, so, you just took a nap. Yeah, she did just take a nap. <laughs> I'm always tired. So, for context of like how bad this guy's career is, poor baby. His, you know how, um, freaking. Kevin James rides on the coattails of Adam Sandler. Yes. This guy rides on the coattails of Kevin James. That makes sense. <laughs> his his first role was in The King Lava. of Queens as his, his brother. brother. Yep. <laughs> 81 first. episodes. That's it. I also thought it was more. No, that's how many episodes he was in. What? <laughs> 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 he was a major character. What? <laughs> Does he look like Kevin James? I mean, now's the time to look up Gary Valentine. <laughs> I figured you were already looking at a picture of him. Yes. Well, his Wikipedia doesn't have a picture of him. <laughs> oh, no. He was on 81 episodes. And he doesn't even they, get a picture on Wikipedia. <laughs> dude, the choices of picture for him range from all right to very unflattering. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a picture of him that is a normal picture of a man. That's not too bad. That's just a man. All right, hold up. All right he's a dude. I see it. I see I see Kevin James in there for sure. He does look familiar now. He looks he looks and I say this with a lot of italics on there. He <laughs> looks better than Kevin James. He looks like an alternate universe um <laughs> the alternate uh, universe, Kevin James. Well, no, not just Kevin James. Uh, Patrick. No, not Patrick. Yes, Patrick. Oswald? O o Olsen? Patton Oswald. <laughs> Patton Oswald. There we go. Who was also on King of Queens. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. They have the same architect of human for every <laughs> <laughs> character. <laughs> Broad face, fat body. <laughs> all three Wide friends. boys. All three friends were, were that. And oh no, I remember. I remember King of Queens. They had. Oh, uh, that this, wasn't. That was not <laughs> That's <laughs> not right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, what's in the I'm shadows? Really what am I looking at? What the fuck is this? Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> he oh. looks. He looks so cool. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> he looks so cool. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You were really cool for a minute there. He's gonna grab me. Nope. <laughs> he almost got you. He almost grabbed me. That was close. Oh, you almost had a perfect. I know, right? <laughs> Oops. Let me use that. So, I, I remember it now. I remember the architecture of the people of King of Queens. <laughs> the Drake you, sword! <laughs> okay. You, you had... You had... Uh, what's his name? Kevin James. Then you had his brother, who is his brother in the show. So, the, fair enough. Mm -hmm. And then you had Patton Oswald, who is his best friend. So, that's three people who have the same body type. And then they had a, like, six foot seven black guy. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was really into sports. Definitely. He was really, well, they were all really into sports. But, yeah, exactly. But the difference was that he was the nice voice of reason guy. Oh, always. Yeah. Whereas the rest of them were shitty asshole people. Except for Patton Oswald's guy. He was just a dork. You can't make him a shitty person. That's why. Patton Oswald's just too nice of a person. Yeah, you can't have him act as a rude person. He's one of those actors where it's like you think that maybe he could be like a kind of creepy person, and then you look into his real life and it's just like he's just actually very nice. Yeah, he's just he's just a very nice person. And kind of like very sad to learn about. Also very sad. But he remarried. He did. Yeah. Recently. Which him. is fair. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Eventually. I, you gotta, I need to buy his wife's book. You know, his, his, uh, his dead wife's book, that is. I don't know if the new one writes or anything. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's on true crime. Oh, shit. And apparently it's very good. Like, she was a foremost true crime writer. She was around when it started getting big. Yeah. Isn't there, like, some sort of, like, weird conspiracy theory shit saying that that's why she got killed? No, oh, no. I haven't seen like, any of that, but I believe it. Yeah. I don't remember what that guy said. It was, was. It was weird. Like, I remember reading something, um, like, people being like... They does Beatrice... Her. Beatrice... Beatrice's stuff show up if you don't summon her? No. Didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I can... I'll never not laugh at, uh, the human son. <laughs> Wait! Like, it's flashing this... eyes. Yeah. <laughs> they're alive in there. <laughs> Deep inside, they're alive. Oh, God. This place is so cursed. Okay. Going back to that guy. Oh! <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> oh, man. He's down here, huh? Well, happens. all right. Don't drop anything. Okay. So, other than being on almost 10 years of King of Queens, Sheesh. which also 10 years? Yeah, I know, right? The show was on for so long. He was That's why you said the 81 TV episodes thing. Okay. Called Alive and Kicking. Okay. Where he was Gary. <laughs> so, ah! his name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, he was also in <laughs> The Dog Who Oh my god. Person. Remember what's at? Remember what's on this this uh this doorway? Wait, wait for <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> no, I remember. Oh no, there he oh, is. You, you I am man. I am much stronger now. Also, I apparently got past him. No, I didn't. The shortcut's not down. I never got past him. Yeah, you never got past. Him. I gave up. That's you, right. You straight up abandoned. Dude, what if what if the key had been behind him the whole time? <laughs> what if the what if like that that would have been the best worst. Anyways, what else was, 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 was he in? I'm curious. He was in The Dog Who Saved Christmas. Okay, sure. He was in The Dog sure he made Who 20 Saved bucks Christmas on that movie. Vacation. He made 50 bucks on that movie. Uh, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up the synopses of these. There is no synopses. Oh. There is just a plot breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Uh, it was written by childhood friends Michael Simonera and Richard Nolfo. <laughs> All these things are written by kids. <laughs> Mystery key. Wait, wait. Is, it, is this him? Is this the uh, the pyromancy man? I don't remember. Ah, oh, what 
No, no, this is um, this is a uh, loud track, isn't it? I think that might yeah, be a loud track's prison key. That, yeah, that's for freeing loud track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever free loud track? No, no, no. I mean, now's the time to go free. Wait, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Is he still there? It's been so long. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, given the current state of your game, I don't know how to treat it. Um, okay, oh, if we oh. finally get his soul. I hate this. Oh my god. What's up? Uh, what's up? I got a giant water bug. Let's go give that to Blathers and shove it in his face. Well, I have a centipede, a water bug, and a lunar moth, but I'm just going to go here. Lunar moth. I don't know if it's a lunar moth. I don't he frees himself after moth. Gargis anyway, doesn't he? Usually. Yeah. And then we'll um, go to an island and just steal all of their resources because fuck using my own. So the dog who saved Christmas is exactly as it sounds is about a dog that stops people from burglarizing at Christmas. Amazing. Um. His name is Zeus. He's sure. a Labrador Retriever and a former police dog. <laughs> of course he's a former police dog. He has lost dog. his bark after... Wait. He, he has lost his bark after his barking ended up blowing off a five-year investigation <laughs> and his partner can't shoot straight again and ends up at the pound. That's what? Structure. <laughs> that's that's a, a, yeah, first of all, like, that's a sentence. <laughs> he lost his bark because of that? Wait, did yeah, he like randomly dog, just give me purging sounds? Because that's what like he does. The dog, for some reason, has knowledge of, like, I fucked up bad enough to lose his bark from, like, trauma. <laughs> um, anyway, skipping ahead, um, the dog who saved Christmas vacation is when the Bannister family and their dog Zeus go to a ski lodge in Colorado for Christmas vacation. So they die hard it where the dog has to save people a second time. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Zeus and Bella finally escape with the help of Trooper, a service dog who has a crush on Bella. Oh no! Why are there just so many spiders? Because it's nighttime. They come I've out never seen reason. tarantulas out like this. Yeah, they. This is they're... really unnerving. <laughs> I really that don't is like really this. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's looking at me. Oh, he's attacking. <laughs> The one thing that survives <laughs> phasing through everything, and it's a skeleton that's on the roof. Um, Alright, Gary, let's take a look at the rest of your filmography here. Um, so, aside from being in I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry, he was also in Paul Blart Mall Cop. Oh, of course, one, why not? As a karaoke Only one. singer. Not even a named character. Brother, you have a beautiful uh, voice. Why don't you come into this movie and sing karaoke? He was in the, conversation went. the Deported and Hosed, Hosed, both of which do not even have a Wikipedia article. Oh, no. Um, as well as Pool Boy Drowning Out the Fury. What is that? Please tell me this has a wiki. It doesn't, but it has an IMDb. It has Danny Trejo in it. <laughs> no shit. Everything always has Danny Trejo in it. He's around. It has Kevin Sorbo in it. Okay, I need to send you the picture of this movie that this man has been in. First of all, I can't imagine that Kevin Sorbo was in anything in the last 20 years, but I know he has been. I forget who that is anyways. That's the guy that oh. did the Hercules thing. Where he was oh! Like, this isn't my home. Disappointed! <laughs> oh yeah, we had the conversation recently. Yeah. I think Kevin Sorbo came up with something else too. Oh my god, look at that! I mean, I like that he no lifeguard on duty. <laughs> I like that he has a machete in it. Okay, but hold on. God, look what? At, look at how that gun is, right? See how it's fuzzy at the top? Like yes. Frame? Yeah, yeah. Look at the hand at the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Not his hand. Same with Danny Trejo's hand. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's his hand either. But like, where's the rest of Danny Trejo's arm then? Because clearly, <laughs> they could have just taken a picture of him holding a machete. He he must have many. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> First S tier item drop. Where'd it go? Oh, I have I had this the whole time. <laughs> Very good and hello. Um, he was in the dog who saved Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing the trend. 
<laughs> these were all released a year from each other. Um, of course, he was in Jack and Jill because he's riding on. Why not? Yeah. Coattails. Um, he was in Wrong as EMT. Vague. Uh, that was apparently something that aired at the Toronto International Film Festival. <laughs> oh god, he's still alive! Nope, never mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just watching him fall over and over. Um, he was in Here Comes the Boom. I've heard of that. Starring Kevin James. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? <laughs> Who would have guessed? Guys, uh, did they all live in a house together? He also is in The Dog Who Saved the Holidays. <laughs> <laughs> I love that this dog has saved Christmas, Halloween, and then just the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> it gets it gets worse. It gets worse. There's there's another one. The dog who saved summer. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many of these movies. <laughs> what are the box office on all these? Not that they're going to theaters, <laughs> but Oh my god, it does dude no, some of these don't even have wikis. <laughs> non dominational talk. <laughs> dominational first of all. Uh, uh box office for the most recent one was a cumulative worldwide gross of fifty thousand dollars. Oh no. <laughs> it probably didn't cost was... much. It probably didn't cost much though, right? But like 50, not 000. even not even like a hundred thousand. Fifty thousand. <laughs> like what? Did they make this movie on a budget of like four thousand dollars? <laughs> did, did they just happen to own a ski lodge that they could go to for a previous movie? <laughs> Honestly? Ooh, yeah, a, there's a, always the chance. It's a real enemy. <gasps> no, I don't want IMDb Pro. <laughs> don't you want their mobile app? <laughs> um, aside from that, he was in a television show of men of a certain age, a comedy drama television series. That sounds like a show my Ray dad Romano. would love. That sounds like a show my dad would love. <laughs> I never saw that Ray Romano movie with the cancer guy. I was about to say speaking of my father, but that was just a coincidence, Holy actually. <laughs> this, is a, this is a show your dad would love. <laughs> it's an, hour, it an hour-long program starring Romano, Andre Brower, and Scott Bakula. Bakula? <laughs> <laughs> so what Scott Bakula is, is the guy who was in Quantum Leap and was in Star Trek Enterprise. Oh, dude, I love him! <laughs> yeah, so it is Ray Romano and Scott Bakula as best friends in their late 40s. Oh, now I kind of want to watch it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, what a... It was canceled after two seasons. That makes sense. 22 episodes. Yeah, who's watching this? Where does this elevator go? Um, aside from that... Dude, his filmography is actually oh. this small, though. Um, oh, I forgot to mention he was in Zookeeper, <coughs> which stars Kevin James. Mm -hmm. I remember that movie. Who, who could guess? Uh, he was also in Paul Blur, Paul Cop 2. It wasn't 2, okay. Uh, he was also in Kevin Can Wait. What? Kevin James's other sitcom. <laughs> Just called <laughs> Kevin Can Wait? Yeah, oh! So only lasted two years, because... Uh, uh, oh, by the way, he was in Fargo. Hmm. Which, uh, which one? Uh, 2014. Hmm. That's good. I, like, one good role amongst everything. Ooh. One good role amongst the five the dog who saved. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was something in the wall! Ah! Get it out of the wall! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what was that sound? It was a cat. I think it was a cat. <laughs> the cat who saved. Oh, dude, that that dog who saved 
bullshit there had me like actually almost in tears. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing that I've run into in a while. <laughs> Is it the same dog every time? I don't know. Like, are, it, so. like in in the lore or in the, the lore? Real dog? I imagine the real dog isn't the same every yeah, time. No, I imagine there's some it's, time it's the a, 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 between these. Juice. Okay, so it is okay. He has different dog companions, like that one that has a crush. No, oh, yeah, it's like Airbud. Oh my god, I. You can tell that I'm not a hundred percent with it because I just was scrolling through his wiki and I saw, the Bachelor Chronicles. Um. Is a thing he apparently hosted, which doesn't have a wiki Bionicles? either, by the way. That's where my brain went. Is I I read it as the Bionicle Chronicle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ring. More recently, he makes occasional appearances as a roundtable comedian on E Network late night talk show Chelsea Lately, and also takes part in Dusty Peacock web series on Crackle. First what? of all, second hush. But also, what? Is there items down here? <laughs> Second touch. Why is that guy yeah, dead? Or you, ah! You, you oh the, my uh, god! You get the cracked reds. No, but why is there? The I got the cracked uh, reds. That was a second hush. I'm wondering why that um, plant is dead. Ow! Don't worry about it. It couldn't survive without the water. <laughs> God, I can't believe that like a deep dive into Kevin James's brother was so good. Wait, a... he didn't legally change his name. To what? He didn't legally change his name to Gary Valentine. Oh yeah, I figured as much. You you, you literally called them uh, acting names earlier, so. Yeah, but like other people do just change their names to their yeah. acting names. Like uh, Michael Caine changed his name legally. But he did that in the last like three years. Really? Yeah, he, he was using his actual name for years. And what had happened was every time he would go to customs, they would did, did. say, that's not your real name. That makes sense. And so he got tired of it and he just put Michael Caine on it. But it took him until his like oh. 80s. Imagine not getting fed up with it until you're almost dead. I think this might be him. The residence key is the one for Undead Bird. Yeah. That's for that's for Sorcerer, not Pyromancer. Fuck, you're still yeah. Ah ah What's that sound? I mean Hear the that? sorcerer might have the Pyromancer's key. You never know. God, Wikipedia rabbit holes are the best. Yes. I live for them. <laughs> uh what the fuck? Uh, Ornstein! Wait, really? Yeah! Ornstein and dead rats! The four Ornsteins. Why are there dead things down here? Ah he's coming! <laughs> oh. I, can't, I can't believe it's really the four Ornsteins. <laughs> <laughs> the better question is if you leave him be, will it spawn three more orange? Oh god, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's not an Ornstein, that's for sure. <laughs> this boss fight is immediately so much harder. Yikes! This is this one's a yikes. Okay, I can take oh. out the Ornstein fast. Oh my god. I just got a, I got a fast roll. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? What? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing down here? <laughs> god damn it. I never rested at anything. I got to go all the way from Firelink down there. That's right. I love uh, dying to... The Lord of of uh, Sun <laughs> and a dragon, whatever dragon slayer, and then waking up in the past. <laughs> <laughs> they kicked your ass so hard you went back to the past. <laughs> I caught a snail. It's not much to brag about. Wow, that's that's it. <laughs> it's very sad. Yeah, because it's, well, it's so it's so easy a joke. to catch. 
I mean, yeah, but... It hurts the snail's feelings. What if it's a really big snail? Then you can be a little proud. I just need to shit ton- Literally, I just need to make a clay pot and then all of the shit for the fucking people that want to move into my island are set. Animal Crossing is getting in the way of me doing commissions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is for many people. <laughs> it's turning into a pro oh, There's another spider. I will not let you. Oh, fuck. I don't have a net. My net died. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> panic. Panic. <laughs> no. No. I need to set you up. We need to create things. <laughs> what? I can't, I can't make shit here? <laughs> I have the requisite materials. I don't understand the problem. Please, spider, think of me. I don't need you to try to eat me today. Everything is fine. Oh, there's a bench here. That's why I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> Fuck. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm whispering like this have a, have a good one there? Do you see that? <laughs> it went right over me. It was crazy. <laughs> went right over me. Can I make the yeah? Okay, come on. <laughs> hurry, hurry. I do not want that fucking moth to get away. We're done. Okay. Oops. Nope, not oops. We're good. Ah, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Where'd he come from? Presumably from above. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Spider's chasing me! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you just have to tank him out. Problem is when he does that attack. Yeah, it's not good. I got a cordless phone. We have a cell phone though. I actually do have a cordless phone upstairs. Wow. Ancient. Ancient man. I don't use the Oh, it ran out right when I got hit. I see him. I see fire. <laughs> oh, look at, look at the health bar, though. I can get this. Somehow. I just got to focus that uh, orange scene better. No iron flesh. I need to be able to roll. I think my setup right now is good. You've almost got it. God, I love a game where they put one of the four final bosses and the closest bonfire to it is the first bonfire, like the hub world bonfire. <laughs> it's so good. It's, I love this video game. Admittedly, the run is at least not bad once you know what you're doing, but... No, no, I, I did not mean that in a sarcastic way oh, at all. I didn't think uh, you did. I just meant, like, mm. <laughs> admittedly, it is, like, a good run. They designed it well. Unlike, uh, some other games. Oh, no, I angered him. Step on his foot. Well. <laughs> this run is definitely much worse when you don't have, uh, to deal with using transient curses. Fair. I think I might make sugar cookies tomorrow. Gotta do something what? while you're in quarantine. Ah. Gotta do something while you're in quarantine. I, I saw a person's post that was like, Quarantine is when you restrict the movement of sick people. Tyranny is when you Ow. restrict the movement ah. of free people. Nice. I'm sorry, Snail. In the small amount I'm going outside I did today, there, there weren't that many people out. It was definitely less than normal. No, 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 no. Fuck. Here's the thing. Like, I feel like... What are you doing here? Did I get oh, it? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like it's not really tyrannical if they <laughs> prevent you from dying. Oh, man. That goes really bad. <laughs> My attack at me, like, to the left for some reason. I 
thank you for all of the clay. Now my housing is complete. <laughs> I'm going to chop down all of these trees. Oh. I have to work. Oh yeah. You should just call in. I can't call in 20 minutes to work. You should just say <laughs> that something bad happened. I, they will not let me. Your girlfriend got the corona. <laughs> they, won't, they won't let me. Not this little time. Oh, so my mom told me because, like, no one's going to be able to come up to celebrate my birthday. She said I am going to be getting a birthday cake delivered. Nice. And she, and she told me what it was, and I'm really excited about it. No. <laughs> it's it's a little green cake, so it's gonna be flavored like pistachio, and I'm really excited because I love pistachio. And then the guy is gonna mold like it, so it's the frosting's gonna look like little bamboo, and then there's gonna be little pandas on it, made out of rice krispie treats, and then like put fondant over it. I'm so excited. I was like, you do realize that I'm not sh like sharing it. She's like, well, you can't because yeah, quarantine. But... And I'm like, Who's perfect. <laughs> I'm going to eat the entire cake all by myself. Ah, we're good. So we're good. if bees could stop coming for me... You like... named your town bees. <laughs> 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 I just keep getting my ass kicked by bees and tarantulas tonight. That was, that was worth it, wow. Alright. <clears throat> my housing for my, my, my people are done. I want to go home, yes. Because then I need to attempt to draw. <laughs> and by that, I mean I'm going to say that and then play in with that ah! for hours. Not fair. That's cheating. When do you have to, like, get off Discord and go get ready for work? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, like... I mean, last time it was a minute before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was actually 8.59. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I'm like slowly starting up that computer as we speak. Whoa! I, I almost got done another Death Guard figure last night, so neat. neat. I just have to, I just have to paint his backpack. I can see the reflection of the fire. I think he's around here. No, he's not. We're good. Painting skin. Please come back here. No. <laughs> No! One more hit! <laughs> it's just a race. It's, I think when I kill that Ornstein, all of them will die. Because it will completely uh, take away the health That's bar. usually how it works. So, I just have to get that Ornstein. I'm on a time limit to kill that Ornstein is all. You're, you're literally on a time limit to kill Ornstein. Because <laughs> then it's Gwyn and Ornstein. And those are... Oh, God. Those are both uh, fast enemies. I can't really do that at the same time. Unless I just... Parry and then use the iframes to tank a Ornstein attack and then hope that it lines up next time over and over. Fuck me! Bit by a spider or more stung by a bee? No, <laughs> I just keep doing the wrong buttons. <laughs> I mean, I did that in Zelda like a dis disgusting amount playing Wind Waker. That makes sense. It's a weird controller. It was also like coming off of like any other game after not playing it for like yeah a week or two, and then just going what? I, seriously, there is a part near the end of that let's play that is me just going I don't understand and hitting a button thinking it's that button, and it just dropping me in lava for like four minutes, <laughs> and me just eventually going fuck it, I'm not gonna learn, and then I didn't. <laughs> I just I just uh, I shot ice arrows at the lava floor and it turned the lava into stone and then I walked across it instead of using the rope puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, man, it's really good that you can see like traces of Breath of the Wild that far back. <laughs> Just how can you break the game <laughs> but still have the game be beatable? Man, I want Breath of the Wild. Now I want Breath of the Wild and Doom and I just bought I, Animal Crossing. It's like there's just I, too much I right want now. Breath of the Wild 2. Cause they're making Here he comes. There he is. <laughs> Where? 
I, I still have to beat Doom. Like 2016. I need to start it again. It's been so long that I've forgotten everything about it. It's a pretty short game. You can get it in a couple days. Yeah, it's like 10 hours. Apparently, there's like a section of the community that's like really not pleased that the new Doom has like a lot of dialogue. Yeah, people are upset that it's too story heavy, I think. Even and though I think it's you know all what? just skippable still. Here's the thing though. Doom 3, which everyone hated, was really story heavy. But the combat sucked. So everybody hated it because the combat didn't make up for it. I'm all for more story in Doom. Because Doom's story was always hilarious and also great. Like, the old Doom, literally one of the stories was he went on a giant rampage because some demons killed his rabbit. <laughs> it's fucking John Wick against demons. <laughs> yeah, like, like he, he, went to, he went to Earth to save the Earth. And then when he was getting there, he found out that uh, his pet rabbit got murdered by the demons during the invasion. And they, like, stuck its head on a spike. Oh, my God. So he went and murdered the demons because of it. <laughs> like, old Doom lore is just ridiculous. That's incredible. And that's so good. So I'm all for them steering into the absurdity of it. Also, like... They've got that one guy that's like Optimus Prime. So, yeah, just have him talk forever. <laughs> What's his <clears> name? <throat> like Samuel Hayden or something like that? Oh, Ultron, yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Ultron. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Oh, that's really neat. When you take out the ladder, it rolls up your sleeves in mm -hmm. Animal Crossing. And so my freaking robes sleeves have been rolled up. And I really <laughs> love the aesthetic of uh, when people roll up their sleeves, but they're like kimono slash yukata slash mm. I like that when you put a fan in your house, it actually blows around the plants. <laughs> I have no idea that that happens. I haven't ever gotten a fan yet. Apparently it blows everything from Like, it actually has wind. It blows the paper everywhere. Yeah. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> I lived! Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm not. Oh, God. He's going to show up any second now. There he is. <gasps> no. <laughs> what a boss fight. <laughs> Where are the other two kings? <laughs> If you guys stay alive long enough, like this magic shield and hide in a corner, see what else shows up. I mean, you could probably do that. <laughs> I put the grass crest shield in my uh, right hand and a great shield in my other hand. <laughs> they would work, I guess. They would. I'm give me the extra stamina regen. I guess tonight I'm gonna finish Tiger. Yeah, I'll have to finish it too then. Tiger? I mean, I want to anyways. Uh, Ooh, Tiger King, the Tiger documentary King. about the, about uh, Joe Exotic. It's it's it, it, very insane and very good. Did uh, did you get to the point? I I don't know if it was episode five or episode four or what. Mm -hmm. So, oh no, hold on, bees. <laughs> Oh, you get iframes on the ladder! <laughs> but they can fly. Ah! They got me! <laughs> yeah, they can fly! <laughs> you know, it's a video game. Who knows? Maybe they would have gotten, like, confused. Well, no, you, you get iframes on, on the ladder, and while you're crawling down it, you keep those iframes, but they mm -hmm. follow you down, right? 
So when you start to try to run after that, you're slowed down enough that they have enough speed to gain on you. <laughs> that sucked. Um, did you get to the the part where um, he claimed that somebody put perfume in his shoes? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> that was a good part. I love that this guy drops down every time. It makes the fight so much more fun. He ends up... Um... Fuck, on Pulling the gun out in the middle of his lion slash tiger pen. Uh-huh. And fires the gun off to try to scare the animals. Um, because one of them wouldn't stop biting his feet. Wait, so he thinks that the perfume was attracting? He was like, somebody put cologne in my shoes so that the tigers would attack me. Do tigers not like cologne? Well, and then it goes and it, it jumps over to the girl. The, the uh -huh. annoying woman. That's ah! the, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he just appeared. <laughs> that was really scary. <laughs> um, but it jumps over to the lady, and then the lady's like, "Oh no, perfume's not gonna do anything to them. There, they're they're just gonna drool all over his feet. They're they're not gonna bite him or anything. They they gotta have to put like sardine blood in his shoes or something." <laughs> Oh, okay. And it's like the fact Strange that she one. has an idea on how been, to do that. She's at least been thinking about it, yeah. Yeah, it's like that's not. Don't don't say those things. Like they they constantly just one up themselves. On tiger this. people are insane. What's up with every tiger person being insane? And again, why are they all polygamists? Yeah, they're also all poly yeah. What? They're all polygamists or cheaters. <laughs> like. Even the guy that's not a polygamist is a swinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you've got... And you're right, yeah, her ex-husband was a, uh... Wait, no, she just cheated. Yeah. He, he just cheated on, uh... He was a serial long-time wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <It's easy. laughs> you know what? Maybe. Well, they were saying that in the show, basically. Like, there was a ton of people going, like... No, you don't understand. Being around uh, big cats, it's, uh, you know, it's it's this, like, power thing. Oh, th yeah, the actual reporter was saying that. Yeah. That was the real not-crazy human. Well, maybe still a little crazy, but... He went to work with them, so there's something there. And also, no, there was the clip kinda. where they showed him as a reporter, and he got lit on fire. Y yeah, that's true. And it was preference with, you all know how crazy our reporter is. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't exactly the most stable man himself. Why is this enemy? Why does this bone wheel? Where did where he go? Where did the bone wheel go? He's already fallen. There go his bones. Or was that a different <laughs> bone? Was that something else? I don't know. No, that was him. Yeah, his bones already fell. I'm so confused. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> his bones already fell. You can't dodge that. It's going to block it every time. Oh, shit. Please don't do that. I need to kill you faster. Please don't do any attacks where you move away from me. I am Ideally, that you stay directly in front just of me that try to stay attack. still. <laughs> oh, that was a miss. That's a whiff. No whiffs. Can't whiff. Oh, I can't see. Yeah, but like. Ah! Do you remember <laughs> the. Uh... <laughs> Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. He is. Gone. That's the first challenging boss I've had this entire game. <laughs> so, do you, do you remember the part where the guy like gets after you? Ever, like, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, video game. <laughs> That's what I need as a reward for that. Victory <laughs> Yeah, but the, yeah, I got the calamity, calamity ring. <laughs> ring. <laughs> Anyways, what? Do you, do you remember the part where the person asked him, like, would you ever shoot one of your tigers? He's like, yeah, I shoot you before I'll I shoot, shoot you. My and he was saying that to a customer. Yeah. He, he so, wasn't saying that to the reporter. That was just to a customer that was there. So later on, when the tiger bites his feet and freaks mm -hmm. him out, and he goes to, like, shoot around the animals to scare them, mm -hmm. he just, like, turns around and yells at the tiger, I'll shoot you between the eyes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Oh wait, let's go to the painted world. 
I found the uh, I found the doll. And wait, if I kindle this, I will get uh, 20 Estus, I think. So, considering we never found the right of kindling, that could be useful. <laughs> yeah, you so. just always have the right of kindling. <laughs> we need to go it's to... Gonna huh? It's going to be in the painted world. What is? The right of kindling. The right of kindling. Yeah, the right of kindling and the depths key. <laughs> Both in the, no, you in know the painted what? You'll world. You'll go to the painted world, and the depths key will be in there, and then the right of kindling will be in the depths. <laughs> I hope it's in that order. If it's the other way around, we've got a problem. <laughs> okay, how much water is still in my palette? Alright, that's enough to paint with. I figured out a way to like keep my palette from drying out, and it's that I just put a second piece of plastic over top of it at night, and huh. it keeps the moisture in. Don't know how it works. I'm not a scientist, but they be lying and making me piss. It's true. They do that all the- Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> they do that all the time. Ah, oh, fuck. Where, where's, where's the staircase, dude? <laughs> Never brought it up. Oh, Can't fuck. Just, why don't you just teleport to the princess bonfire? Yeah, you're right. Like, homeward bone, teleport to the princess bonfire, go get your shortcut. Now yeah, you're right. I mean, you're already, like, halfway here. <laughs> yeah, kind of just, like, already moving. Like, if you were still at the top where the bonfire was, like, maybe then, but... <laughs> just don't get uh, knocked off. Basically, and, all I gotta and do. don't get killed by the bone wheel. <laughs> Iron flesh. I gotta go almost. That's how we do it. All right, I will go when you go, probably, because I've been playing this for a long time, anyways. I'm yeah, gonna that's go fair. now because I gotta pee. No oh, shit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right, the bone wheel! Yeah. <laughs> that's what you were talking about. Yeah. I, fra I frames! I frames! <laughs> oh no, the iframes are gonna wear out! <laughs> Amazing. I love having 20 Estes because they do nothing. <laughs> no uh, excuse me? Oh, it's not done yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in here anyways. No, let's just go down one. Never mind. I can't believe, yeah, I have not found a single Firekeeper soul. That's pretty fucked. That's pretty fucked. This, I, ah. It's a fucking staircase. All right. I must away. It's true, people, you must. My people need me. <laughs> they do. And I guess we will continue this another day. Yep. I'll just go into the painted world and then turn it off. <gasps> yep. This is the starting position. Kinda. So now this will lead down to the hellscape down here. Um, Let's get some hidden body going on while I'm down here. Yeah, I found a doll somewhere. I don't remember where, but I got it. Ooh, you know what would be cool? It's a real painting of this. Because it looks like a legit piece of art. But then, you know, someone comes in and they're like, I know that art. I'm going to look that up after this. <laughs> I'm actually, I actually kind of want that really bad now. Hi. 
I'm definitely going to save this for next time because this is my favorite uh, part in the game. Well, it's, my, it's it's not really my favorite right now, i got to say. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, so is this one. Oh, no. Oh, those are large boys. Those are all large. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, next time. <laughs> oh, you found several. Ooh, that's pretty cheap. That canvas one is. It's actually really cheap for canvas. Geekpaintings.com. Oh, no. I might spend real time on that. And I hate that. <laughs> 